I don't even know how to start this. I a couple weeks ago I started buying up some VHS after doing extensive research because of the hype, VHS collecting, VHS grading. Very hard not to notice. Um, movie collecting is not new to most people. Movie investing is. That's what this is. I've always bought movies, sold movies. Never really as like a, they were never really expensive or sold anything super rare for tons of money, but uh, movies sell, people love movies. Everybody collects something and a lot of people collect movies. So like why, why wouldn't some of the older formats of movies start to become valuable? It's the same thing as old baseball cards or video games or you know, NESs and Ataris, like those are the first versions of, of some of these games that ever came out and those are valuable and desirable and they're quote unquote, people have used the term rookies. You know, honestly, a lot of people don't like it. I, I'm i fine with it. it. There's a point to it. There's, um, VHS is no different. So, grading movies, I'm, I'm speaking from a VHS point of view. I'm not really into anything else right now. I do, um, I am kind of a sucker for steel books, but I've, I've acquired some and sold them over the years because those, those hold value or I just lose interest and get into something else. And I mean, I've, I've built digital collection now with new stuff. Um, I'm, I'm rarely, uh, if I buy a movie and, and or a game nowadays, it has to be like one of my absolute favorites. I just, I see too much and come across too much I it's got to be pretty freaking special to to not get sold honestly so I got again we kind of got this VHS bug uh VHS is not new we've done and yes Mafia has been dabbling with VHS for you know a year and a half couple years now uh they came around you know a good bit and we were finding VCRs like over a year ago and we're flipping them and just getting rid of stuff I and mean, we had plenty of seals and we would just fill them in a lot and blow them out and now it's a different story we look back and we're like man we wish we would have kept some of that stuff because there's there's some pretty cool stuff stuff that stuff that a year ago wasn't doing what it is now which is wild but why not i i get it we get it there's a lot of skeptics out there i guess that's where this is coming from and i'm just like why not everything else is collectible everything else sells why not movies that's silly to to disregard go look at movies and think of Think of a, a blockbuster movie or one of your favorite movies. Like you don't even have to know much about collecting or investing to start this, to get into this. You you already have general knowledge of, of blockbuster films, popular movies. Like go look at, go look at solds on that stuff and see what that's done. And we'll, we'll see what happens as this starts to progress and gets more popular. Like we'll, we'll stuff start coming out of the world. I don't know, you know, if, if this holds up, I mean, we're going to all learn a lot. This is, this is new, even though it's not, movie collecting is not new, but the, I think the uh, investment side of it is new, very new. And we're all going to learn a lot together over the next couple of years, see what happens. Um, so I bought, I didn't buy dollar um, wise that much. I spent like $425 in about eight days just researching and seeing what all has sold, what all's available, looking at some of my favorite movies, looking at blockbusters, looking at uh, some underground stuff, indie stuff. Um, I just, you know, went with what I know and what I've seen and through experience, uh, like I always preach about other collectibles, you know, household names, proven sellers, movies, duh, come on. Uh, Okay, here's what I, here's, okay, I'll show you. I'll just start opening some. This is, this, these are some of the things that I went after and let's see, let's see how it did. I spent $425. I have one, two, three, four, five, six packages to open. I have like another seven on the way and I can't wait for them all to come in. It's just gonna be, it's gonna take too long. So, I'll, and, it, and it might be too much open at once. So I'll break this up into a couple videos and I'm sure I'll cut the shit out of this. So, okay, so anyway, this is uh, in my, uh, like I said, not new to movies, but new to buying for a profit 
intentionally and new to potentially investing and grading. I have, am very into the grading, especially right now. There's things selling very surprisingly. You know how the video game grading has been going uh, very well in most cases, but um, unreliable as in when you're going to get it back and how you're going to get it back. So who the hell wouldn't give VHS a shot? It's 65 bucks a pop, you know, and they might be back within 30 days. Let's, let's try it, you know, at, at least ride the wave. And if you can't, if, if it goes nowhere, then at least you tried and you had fun doing it. And you're just, just something else to collect, something else to add to the arsenal if you're a collector or eBay or something like, why the hell not, man? So let's open some stuff. So it's taking so long. All right, one of the first things I bought was this. I always ask people to ship in a box. It looks like almost everybody did, honestly, except this one. And this is fine, it was cheap, and I'm just like, you know, we'll, we'll see how it comes. So this is one of the first things I bought uh, close to two weeks ago, but just the things that came in were over a span of eight days. So I asked the seller to ship in a box, and she got back to me like 48 hours later and was like, um, I'm sorry I'll we ship an envelope. I hope that's okay. I went in ahead and just rode with it. I'm not gonna complain. You know, sometimes you gotta gamble like that. This isn't gonna be the first time I get something you ship in a bubble mailer. That could potentially be worth tons of money. Um, it was not expensive. Two, two different tapes in one bubble envelope, at least they're both bubbled. Um, we'll see what happens. I have had slip-ups in the past with bubble envelope stuff. That's why, I, that's why I ship in boxes and that's why I ask people to ship in boxes. And if, but if not, I'm not gonna be a hater. Okay, this is cool. All right, I'm glad this one came out first. It's just a VHS copy of Matrix Reloaded. Pretty cool. Okay, got some paperwork. Tape looks good. Yeah, all right, that's fine. No big deal, I don't have this. That's cool, I do have the first Matrix. I'm a huge fan. The reason I bought this was, um, I even got lucky in a few things. I think I even scored some things that weren't advertised as sealed that are coming in. So two tapes, uh, I didn't necessarily go after this one. I went after the next one, so let's see what that does. This is cool, I want an open copy of this. I don't have one yet. I'm a huge Matrix fan, like I said, I have open Matrix. That's fine, that'll go in my collection. It's not worth messing with now. It's probably a 99 cent tape and that's okay. So this was why I bought a lot and I just kind of got lucky. Let's see what this looks like. All right. Uh, okay. Um, the upside to this lot was a sealed first matrix. And I think I got both of these for 10.99 plus shipping. Um, maybe not even $15. I would pay just $15 for this any day of the week for a sealed matrix. I mean, there's no, I mean, it's, it's fine. Is it gradable? I don't know. I have to learn more about the print. Um, and I also need to see what else I have in these boxes, see if there's anything better, but this is definitely a contender. That's sealed matrix. Um, there's not a lot of these. I, the cheap ones might even already be gone, just like over the last two weeks. I've woken up to like six of the same movie gone overnight because people are buying stuff up, but you can still get lucky. All right, cool, let's move on. So possible matrix for grading and uh, matrix reloaded for the PC. I'll take it. I did already open one of these, uh, I think it was yesterday. And I, I recorded it separately, and I think I'll just throw it in at the end of this video. But I had, uh, I needed the box to ship something for NES Mafia. That will be part of this first half of my $425 VHS splurge. What the hell? I don't know if I'm pissed or grateful that this box is impossible to break into. Thank you. <laughs> the music is very fitting. A lot of this will be cut. All right, we're good. Okay, we're in. What's this? All right. Oh, okay, I thought this was pretty cool, too. I'm a huge fan. Uh, you know, another no-brainer, maybe. 
Um, you'd be surprised. Go look at the prices, active prices on these now. Um, I'll, especially the first one. Uh, twos and threes are... You can still find them here and there, but this, this one was too good to pass it up. And I, it's just, it's, I like it. I like it. So, I mean, it's just another example of what you can get for, like, 15 bucks, you know, like, right now. If you hurry. Huge fan of the franchise. Don't laugh. But I love Jurassic Park. Come on. More people do than don't. Duh. And I knew these were nice from the picture. These are, you know, not every corner, especially, you know, that's the chance you take it in the mail. Clear, very nice. Obviously factory, got those lines in the back. No watermark, but it's, that's, it's kind of a universal price tag. Um, I am not sure which is which. I think this actually might be earlier. I'll let you see the second Jurassic Park Lost World a lot with the hologram cover uh, more times than not. This has none. I'm thinking this was pre that. So this could potentially be the first print. You see this a lot less in my opinion. So go check that out. This does have watermarks. I saw it. Where was it? Oh, down here. Universal. Factory line. This is, these are clear. These are sharp. I am for $15. I love these, love these. So these are possible graders, truthfully. Um, I have the stuff better than this, so these actually might fall off because they're still, you can still find them-ish. Nice, I don't know, but not for long, y'all. When I mention a title that I woke up overnight to that was basically gone out of my watch list, and, and I think I watch more than the average person um, as a reseller and collector, uh, I watch hundreds of items, two or three hundred items in my eBay store, as many as I can get. And they're constantly going in and out and deleting and stuff like that. But I've never in my life seen so many. And w when you're watching things, the sellers can see that. And they might actually send you discounts if you're watching their item. So that's why I watch so much stuff. And I've been watching so much VHS people. I've never seen anything like it. You are getting offer upon offer of VHS almost all day if you just watch tons of stuff. For a limited time only, probably. I'm serious. It's history repeating itself like it did with every freaking collectible imagine. This is no different from grading anything else. There's gonna be fans, it's not gonna be fans. Period. This I cut open the other day to see what kind of box it was in to see if I could use it to ship something for any of Mafia. Now. This was a priority shipper shipping from inside of a media envelope, so that's cool for you that that got through. Sometimes it doesn't. Trying to keep up with about 15 that I ordered, like I said, over the last couple weeks, and this was a week. All right, so there's just just a no-brainer if you're into if you want to get into this. I mean, even I I know I am such a rook at this, but I'm not a stranger to good movies and condition and possible rarity. So when you see something like this, and there's maybe one or none or others that are higher then you kind of pay attention to it and it's just so groovy i thought it was fairly braced to begin with for what it was and then like i said i was watching it and the seller offered me a discount and it was definitely worth it it's definitely worth it i don't even care i mean it could be a five and i don't even care come under there's not a little mess. Okay. I'll live because of what it is. But this is like, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, this is like, <laughs> this is not common. Check this out. Promotional copy not for sale. It's a freaking sealed Ghostbusters screener. But it's not, obviously not a first print. It's from 1999. This, this thing's awesome. I love screener stuff. I love Ghostbusters stuff. This is sealed. Is it nice enough to grade? I, I don't know. Do you grade it for what it is? Or can there really be that many out there? I'm not really sure. I'm going to find out. But I'm, 
after tax, I'm right at a hundred bucks on this. I mean, that's, to me, that's, I can't even believe I own this, man. Ghostbuster screener, very cool, sealed. Minor flaw, as I expected. I'm surprised most of my stuff doesn't have more flaws. This is yeah, something you don't see every day, I think. And I love screeners, and even if it never gets sold, I don't know. This thing's cool. Not bad, right? So anyway. Man, wow. I'm so excited about a new one. No lie. Um, so, I don't, I don't know, hundred bucks, was that, a, what do you think? Goodbye? I wasn't expecting not buying this, I was actually happy with what I just opened. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not for a promo copy, a screener for, a sealed screener for Ghostbusters, no, in, no, in any condition. Um, and this was in my cart for like 150 bucks or something, I'm like, watch this for 150 bucks. And all of a sudden one day... And actually, I think it was 150 marked down to 100, and that's and I started watching it, and it was after I bought this promo copy. And if I ever owned one, I have a promo copy. Um, I don't, I don't need to own any other Ghostbusters other than that ever. Honestly, like that, I'm totally fine with that. If a first print ever fell on my lap, fine. But I'm not gonna like go out of my way and seek it out and pay like tons of money for it. The same way I wouldn't do this. This is the regular copy of that screener that I just opened. And very unexpectedly one day, I don't know, uh, this was in my car, it was on my watch list, this tape was in my watch list, and all of a sudden out of the blue, like I said, people send you offers, <laughs> this is freaking beautiful, holy crap. Okay, so, uh, okay, it's 19.99. it's the reissue, it's still over 20 years old, and it's still a VHS, Ghostbusters, this thing is freaking beautiful, dude sent me an offer for $50, and I snatched it as soon as I could, man, unbelievable, so now I have a set, I could keep them, I could sell one, I could sell both, Am I going to see these? I don't know. This is crazy. Check that out. That's what I'm talking about right there. Dude. Ghostbusters is not a bad place to start, y'all. If you can find something. It's like a sure thing. It's a sure thing. Yeah, I mean, that's 150 bucks right there, you know? That's a gamble. We've tried. I mean, I've graded everything else. We're going to try VHS. We have to. It's dumb. Go look at the prices. All right, so here's a lot I bought. I'm not going to give away all my secrets, but let's just say sometimes you can find stuff that maybe you wouldn't think you would find in no-name lots. This is one of my favorite things. I just did a post on this. Okay, first of all, it's a lot of... I paid $21.50 plus tax plus shipping. So, I know my post has $21.50 for all this, but that's obviously not true. It's closer to $30. Bucks. $30 bucks is still worth this in two seconds. No question. I had... I don't even know how I found this. I don't even know how I found it. I don't remember now. I've seen so much and bought so much lately. But I bought, I found this. And a lot of this is going to eBay. I don't care about anything. Okay, I care about two things in this lot. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six movie clamshell lot, right? Right. Sealed Lion King. Great. Five bucks. Check my eBay. Sealed Old Yellow. Maybe five bucks. Check my eBay. Stuart Little 2. I bet it's $2.99. It's real shrink. They're all nice. This was in the lot with no mention at all of this movie in the title or description. Maybe I was... Maybe I searched Sealed Clamshell a lot. I don't know. But this was in it. While we're on the Ghostbusters train. <laughs> I knew there was a little slit there, but I didn't care. 
because there wasn't another freaking one on eBay. Is this still gradable? Can you still grade that with the slit? Are, are these out there? Like this is nice. Watermark line. This is, this is what it is. This is Seal Ghostbusters clamshell. But is that gradable and is it worth gradable? Are there other copies of this out there? I can't find a, a one and two twos were on my watch list just two days ago and they're gone. They sold the same day as all those Jurassic Parks, honestly. And I woke up to like all of them gone. So someone's, you know, kudos, good. That's what you should be doing, honestly. Like if you you see something like that, you're seeing opportunity and you're ready to just go and spend a hundred bucks on 10 copies of it real quick, do it, do it, eat them up. That drives to market, I'm not gonna lie. It does. It does. Do I hate it when people buy stuff that I wish I had bought? Yes, but there's too much stuff out there. If something awesome sells, you might have like a damn, oh, I wish I, man, I can't believe I didn't grab that. But you're going to see something the next day that you're like, oh, wow, this is, this might be better. This is better. Or the day after that. You're like, there's always something better. I mean, damn. At the very least, I have three sealed copies of Ghostbusters. That's never going to be a bad thing. Because even if movie collecting fails, there's always going to be Ghostbuster collectors. It's universal. There's there's tons of crossovers everywhere. So we're not just dealing with movie movie collectors and buyers. This isn't just... I mean, it's, this is video game people buying video game VHS also. Okay, so one of the other things I got was this Brother Bear in that lot. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what that is. Oh, it's open. Uh, who knows? Who knows? 99 cents? I don't know. And then uh, Dark Crystal. We've... Pretty cool. Cracking it. But my son really wants to see this, and I don't care about it that much. I never have, but you know... I know it's a legend, a classic. I didn't care for it as a kid. I know tons of people do, and my son wants to see it, so I'm like... I'm not going to deny on that. Okay. You want Dark Crystal? You got Dark Crystal. So I got a couple of things for the collection so far. I got packing supplies. I love that. I got one more op to open. It is a lot. I can't remember what's... It, there's got to be something good in there because I wouldn't have bought it. You know what I'm saying? So you see what I've been getting. You see what I've been getting. And I'm not even touching on titles that y'all should be. Every, everybody knows. You already know the titles you should be looking at. Especially if you collect, period, anything. If you collect anything, you already know what you should be looking for. For absolutely no reason. I used, a lot of it's total crap. But it had a sealed copy of something that I've been seeing go in and out for a lot of money. And it, I knew it wasn't perfect. I knew I knew it was real. And it's, it's, it's great. It's fantastic. I don't have a lot of money on this either. I think I paid seven something plus seven something in shipping plus the tax. So, you know, 17, 18 bucks total on all, on this. And 17 or 18 bucks, honestly, is, is worth this. Jurassic Park, sealed. I think it's missing a sticker right there, but I don't care. It is what it is, yo. Look at eBay. There's people selling this for a hundred to two hundred dollars easy right now, and I don't, I don't have them yet. But I don't, I think I found more of these. You got if you scour, you might still find sealed in like a VHS lot something. But when people are advertising it as new or sealed, and people who are just want to invest and just want to buy something easy are going in and looking, typing in Jurassic Park, VHS, new, sealed. That's all you're going to see are the expensive ones or the gone ones. But if you get creative, you might find some stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? Not bad. Not perfect. And I and it's fine because it is what it is to me. At the very least, I personally have a sealed Jurassic Park for like 17 bucks. Come on. I will never not be able to make my money back on this. Never. And it came for, you know, for coming in, like, honestly, I, mostly a clamshell lot. There's a sticker up there. If we had to, if we sent that in, that could be, that could be removed. Watermarks on the side. Pretty cool. So, 
Now I have the trilogy, sealed trilogy, one, two, and three. I could put that up in a lot if I wanted to. I can grade them if I wanted to. I can keep them if I wanted to, and I don't have a ton of money in them. And no matter what you're doing with them, uh, now's the time to get them, probably. The, the other crap that I got in this, I think there's only one other movie in here I really cared about, and uh, the rest will become a lot, or who knows, because this is total junk. I just got lucky with Jurassic Park in there. Uh, Swamp Princess, Clamshell, open. <laughs> Pebble and the Penguin, open. Okay, this Homeward Bound is sealed. I might be able to get a couple bucks off of that. We'll have to check that out. That's just pretty nice. I don't think a collector would buy it, but, you know, some people still like to buy new stuff. No problem. Um, there's a Little Mermaid and a clam show. No case. And this is kind of cool. I mean, classic Muppet Theater. I mean, I grew up on Muppets. They're cool. I don't need to own them, honestly, but I do I do think I want to own this, and this is an absolute classic. I'm glad I got this in the slot. I'm glad something else came in the slot other than that Jurassic Park, but uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Cool. Got the first pair of Roger Rabbit in it. This is an absolute classic. When I was a kid, this is totally mine. It's, it's fine. I'm very happy with this copy for my personal. Very nice. I'm very happy with that. And the Jurassic Park for $17. Um, yeah, Jurassic Park, 17 bucks all day. Fucking, you, good luck. You can't get them. And um, I did open, like I said, I mentioned earlier that I opened one um, yesterday or the day before because I needed the box. So I just wanted to kind of flash it really quick. So I made a little opening video of the, of the one I opened earlier a couple days ago just because I needed a box to ship something for eBay. But, but this, this is it. This is it. Oh, oh, teaser. All right. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Um, here's the first one I opened. And this is the first half of the $425 I spent on VHS last week. And I don't know. I mean, just to recap, here are the gems, in my opinion. Uh, the one that you'll see in a moment. Uh, the Seal Jurassic Park. The sealed Ghostbusters clamshell. The sealed reissue 1999 Ghostbusters. For promo. Screener. Not for Risa. Ghostbusters sealed. 1999. Possibly first print. Lost World. Sealed. Jurassic Park 3 sealed. And these are all nice. Like we said. And then even this whole matrix seal. I mean, and that's just the first half. So check out my account. Yeah, and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and Dark Crystal for the PC. So, you know, keep an eye on my account. I'm going to drop, as soon as I get this, the next batch in, uh, the second batch of the 425. I mean, not, not bad, right? So far, so good. So far, so good. You know what that is. All right, coming up. All right, thanks for watching. Don't sleep on VHS. Don't sleep on anything. Collect everything. And yes, my peace.